Hey there, Scuts Butts here. I'm a full-time art gremlin. Uh, I freelance commissions, so let's uh, take a peek behind the scenes at some of the work I do. Here I am. Uh, I sketch a little bit differently. I like to fill out volume and erase out the shapes. Um, it's easier on my hand, so, you know, uh, whatever works. And I have a second stage where I refine out some of the details before I get to line work. This, in particular, is a ref sheet for a character. So, uh, I generally will work on one side of an image, and if there is a backside, I will flip it, and then I will work on the inverse. So, by erasing out all of the details and filling in the backside, I can very easily keep a character's proportions consistent for a front and back turnaround. And in this case, I also had a side view, so I drew myself a grid to keep her head, shoulders, waist, hips, and knees at the same height, so I could keep some sort of consistency. And uh, once again, I filled out volumes and erased it, and now she gets a lovely, frilly, billowy outfit to complete the package here. And oh my gosh, I got free reign on designing her harp. We'll get to that later. Uh, for now, I'm starting the line work. I tend to jump around in commissions a lot. It gets tedious to keep pushing non-stop at something, especially if you hit a wall. So I find it's often much better to just take a breather, step away, work on a different commission or a different part of that commission, and come back later, like I do with the feet, repeatedly. But every time I come back and try, I walk away and I don't get too upset about it. And I think that's really key to avoiding something like burnout. And here we go, I do the same process with the back. I erase out all of the details. And apparently we've skipped around, I got bored of line work. <laughs> I think it's really important though, if it helps you keep a longer uh, attention span, go where your, your brain's gonna focus. So we've got the backside flipped, I've filled in the details, and uh, it's just kind of fun at this point. I got a few key details from the commissioner over what to add and what kind of features she should have and what color palette to work with, but as far as a few things here and there or the design elements in her outfit, I kind of got to have fun with that as I designed her original bust as well. So uh, getting to kind of flush out the rest of her markings was really fun. And you can see here I play around with uh, various things, I'll erase it, everything's on its own layer, so I can kind of experiment. Same thing with the outfit, <laughs> in case I need to draw multiples. I kind of do a doll base and then do the outfit over. Uh, and sometimes figuring out transparent things can be tricky, as you'll watch me uh, work out towards the end of this segment here. Um, but I really wanted there to be like accents with jewels and very decorative shinies with some flowy billowy skirts. So trying to figure out how to then make parts of it uh, see-through and some of it solid when it was all the same layer. Uh, gave me a little uh, problem solving to work through, but in the end, uh, I think it came out super, super nice. It's, oh, it's so fun when I just get to have, like, a little bit of wiggle room and free reign on design features, and it's just one of my favorite things. Here we go playing around with some of the markings again, trying to see what feels right or what looks good, and I'll try different things and come back around to it or uh, decide I don't like it, but it's always worth like trying it out because you never know. You might find something neat you might have otherwise bypassed and looked over. This is fascinating, honestly, watching myself draw stuff. I, I can imagine it's fun to watch streams when people draw 
because it's amazing to me looking back at it happening, even when it came out of my very own hands. And I think that's so cool. And it's part of why I decided to put up some of these YouTube videos and share with you. So <laughs> I had a hiccup. I hope everyone looks forward to it. I am excited to share. All right, here we go figuring out the outfit. <laughs> I think I end up separating out the line work as well as the flats into two separate segments for the solid pieces and then the, uh, the cloth pieces. And it took a bit to problem solve and figure out that that's how I wanted to do it. Uh, digital art is always fun just because it's flexible like that and I can play around with so many different things so easily that in traditional work I just can't, you know, <laughs> uh, unless you're working in pencil. Once it's down, it's down. Oh my gosh, so this character is a bard, and I kind of got free reign to design their uh, instrument. And so it was supposed to be kind of crystal inspired, and I got to kind of find uh, some neat references and pull some aspects from uh, some of the crystals I found that I liked. And I just kind of made up a little decorative filigree metal piece at the bottom to support like the strings st structure. Uh, and it just turned out really whimsical and really cool. And the commissioner was super happy with it. So that just delighted me. And I uh, just all around made it super fun. <laughs> I wouldn't do commission work if I didn't enjoy it though, so pardon me if I gush over the artwork or the characters sometimes. My least favorite part is probably setting up the layout of a character sheet, but because I dislike it so much, I feel like I try interesting and fun things I might not have otherwise tried. And there we go, at the very end, at the finish line, Scuts is finishing the feet. <laughs> I couldn't get them right the whole time, and I put them off, but sometimes it helps to just push the piece along instead of getting hung up on one detail you're struggling with. So I apparently gave up again, and we're doing the markings, and it's okay, it's okay. Art is hard, and I feel like that part's not acknowledged enough. Like, the process is usually a constant struggle of not knowing when something looks good or getting burnt out on it. And there we go. We, <laughs> at the finish line, have finished the last part, uh, which are her little uh, kobold toe beans, which are very, very important part of kobolds. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Uh... I'm not a cobologist. I just draw copious amounts of cobalt, so it's, you know, I know. I just know. It's instinct at this point. And then I got to add some cute crystal flourish to her horns, which I think was just a super neat touch. And here we go, just grabbing samples of her color palette and making sure those are accessible so that this commissioner can now go get additional art drawn of their uh, just super sweet character here. Let's take a look at some of these details close up. And uh, I just, the outfit is fun. Her horns are fun. And there's a look at some of the uh, details on the lower end of things, the aforementioned cobalt toe beans. And a close-up on that harp. If you enjoyed this time-lapse and you want to see some more, click on one of these.
to find links to my social or where to pick up some sweet merch to support a small artist, check my links below. Have a good one. Bye.